viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist and welcome back to Alice Madness Returns. This is episode 3. So, if you remember in the last episode we met up with the Duchess and uh, we also actually, well, two important things that have happened last episode apart from meeting the Duchess. We uh, got the Vorpal Blade, the first weapon, which is basically my nice little knife weapon here. We also picked up our sweet ass pepper grinder, which is basically a machine gun type weapon. So yes, we got those two. Obviously, we're making our way now into, uh, well, deeper into the Vale of Tears. We met the Duchess, who basically introduced us to the mechanic of the snouts, one of which you can see up there. We started accumulating our first memories as well, and I'm constantly, of course, on the lookout for secrets. We've been encountering enemies as well. We've encountered the Insidious Ruin and the Butterfly so far. I can't remember if there are more in this particular location, but we'll see. Collecting teeth as well whilst we're at it. We're on 166 so far. That is definitely a memory over there, and more than that, it's actually a very particular kind of memory which we haven't encountered before. We'll uh, get to that in a second. But first, let's uh, try and take this snout out. Or make him sneeze, rather. Here goes. Got him. What's he unlocked? Okay. Oh god, enemies. Bolterflies. The Bolterflies are here, you are. I don't know what the fuck that voice was. Take it out! Ah, oh, that's one down. Oh god. Cool down. The comp pepper grinder. Got it. What I need to do is go into AU. God, that spun my camera right around and went up instead of elsewhere. I can get it from this range, can't I? Got it. Ah, oh, and I took out the friggin' Bolterfly that was coming for me as well. Okay. Just... Let the particle effects die out a bit first. I probably should go down there, there's treasure and stuff. Hey, that's a door. it. Get all this. Got it. Oh! There's a, I see you! Usually, if the combat music continues, it means there's more enemies to slaughter. Okay. Obviously, it's not stopped just yet. Which I'm taking to mean there are more enemies. Is there anything around here, secret-wise? Oh, what's that over there? That's just water physics. Insidious Ruin, Pepper Grinder, Symbols. Universal Palette. Where? Oh, I heard that. It's coming from above. I think it's more of those Insidious Ruin type enemies. Knocking around somewhere. It's over here. Ah, snail shells. Rainbow coloured snail shells. Interesting. Get them. I don't think there's any real difference between the uh, rainbow coloured ones and the ordinary golden ones, but... Oh god, water physics effect. Uh, physics effects. I keep saying physics instead of physics. Water physics effects causing lag on my end. God, I remember back in the, my, you know, my old VA Brits days when I tried playing this for the first time. <laughs> you know, for a... Uh, for an actual uh, series on YouTube. And of course, you know, back then I didn't have my current PC. And I had an even worse build than what I have at present. If my current PC is a potato, then my last one was an even smaller vegetable. Got yep, you buggers. Ah, there we are. I friggin' uh, calmed things down a little bit. Now, how do I get over here? There's stuff over there. There's a snow globe as well. Ah, interesting. Probably just do it. Yeah, just do that. Okay, new type of memory. I think this is the uh, Nan, Nanny, who this one is. Oh, look. The Mock Turtle. Lost at Sea. He's a character we'll be uh, encountering later in this game. Another classic uh, Alice in Wonderland character. You know what? It has been a long time since. It's been a long time since I uh, last saw the Disney version. You know, the 1951 Disney version of Alice in Wonderland. Classic film, I must say. Right. Let's uh, have a quick shrink whilst I'm at it. Snout this way. Oh, hello there. He's right there. <laughs> I see him. Snorting away. Come on, then. Mr. Snout, we'll take you out. Got it. Almost, you know uses up an entire sort of uh, 
heat up period, if that's what you can call it, for the pepper grinder. Click all of those. Nice. Uh, what did that unlock? It, I think it unlocked back here, wasn't it? More dominoes appeared. Hmm. Oh, okay, right. It put a domino here. So that is actually the path onward. So I didn't need to actually jump over there straight away. I could have just waited. Well, never mind. It's fine. Truth is, you don't even need that uh, domino positioned over there. You can still just jump across. Okay, that is moving, isn't it? Yep, it is. Oh, there's a gold tooth over there. Hidden behind that waterfall. Let's get it. Come on. There we are. Nice. And over here now. Like that. Oop. Got a bit of a lag then. Probably something loaded in. Ah. Now is this where there might be a secret area? See, to recall, there's an area like this where there's a chasm and there's a secret somewhere. Obviously there was that area before in the last episode that I was uh, examining, but which didn't look like anything. Maybe it's this area that I'm thinking about. Oh, what the? Ugh! Oh, new enemies. Slithering ruins. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Okay, this is not the best weapon for taking these ones out. Oh, having said that, I just annihilated them all. <laughs> okay. Slithering ruin. Ugh. What is she freaking weeping there? Just oil. Horrible. I seriously have sworn that there's a secret, but I don't see where it is. Okay. Oh no, hang on. Ah, it might be up there. I see a keyhole thing. Symbol. That's what I'm probably thinking. Hi. What's up? I've got a knife with your name on it. Get out of here. Bastard. <laughs> Just get these. Ooh. Sneaky devil. Friggin' slithering ruins hidden inside the snail shells. Get out of here. Sluggy bastard. Okay, right. Yeah, look, there's a secret over there. And jump on the mushroom. Across here. There we go. I let it go into the keyhole. Go through this way. Okay. Ah, got a bottle and some snail shells. Nice. Teeth. Give me. There we are. Okay, now that we picked up the pepper grinder, actually, now that I think about it, I wonder, can we do weapon upgrades yet? No, we can't. 242 teeth so far. Oh, God. Gas from my tea here. But actually, I should probably drink it up. There's not much of it left. Okay, I'm going this way. Right. <laughs> Sorry for that weird noise, everybody. <laughs> uh, trying to talk around a mouthful of tea. What have we got? What's next? Oh. What? Oh. That is not... Yeah. I think the world's going to shit. Is it the reflect... What? Okay, that's going to cause a lot of lag, isn't it? Especially as I get near to them. There's something glowing up there. Another Bumby memory. Bumby! Oh, look at that physics. Knocking those rocks off the edge. Nice. Playing rock football. Oh, God. What state this place is in. Machinery and oil spouts. How lovely. Ooh. Yeah, that's causing some serious FPS lag, isn't it? Take these guys out. Funny how it goes into slow mo like that with the Vorpal Blade. Likes to give you, uh, you know, nice good tracking shots as you're inflicting hits on them. Right, uh, that is the way on, I think. Oh shit, I fell down. Oh, where am I going? Okay, first death, everybody. One thing I will say about this game is there's not too much of a penalty if you do die like that. There's no kind of limit to your lives or anything. That is something that maybe American McGee could have thought about implementing in this game. It is the one kind of criticism that maybe I do have about Alice Manager Returns is, like I say, 
the fact that if you do fall down and die like that, there's no real penalty. You just get sent back to the last checkpoint. I mean, I suppose that is kind of the penalty, that you have to go back and potentially replay an area you've already played, but I don't know. The thing is, it gives you checkpoints fairly frequently in this game, if I remember correctly. So, that's good. Bumby, what are you going to say? I hope the uh, voices are loud enough for you all to hear everybody. I wonder if I could uh, configure them, maybe make them a bit louder perhaps. God, this is laggy in this menu. Maybe just take this up a tad? I don't know. There we are. Just take that up a little bit and just see if that makes it any better. Okay, it's going to move on. Uh, I, we can't really jump over that, so we're going to need to jump back down here, I reckon. Float. There we go. Hi, I'm too good. Too cool for school. So as I was saying, one thing I do obviously like and appreciate about this game, though, is that it gives you plenty of checkpoints to save at. So that way, you know, if you do die, it doesn't feel like you're being punished by having to replay a whole area that you previously did well. I mean, that is one criticism I did kind of have of games like Alien Isolation. Because that used a kind of manual checkpoint system. There's a kid down there again. Uh, spooky. Just running off. Get out of here. But yeah, games like Alien Isolation used a kind of uh, manual checkpoint save system. Which, you know, in itself isn't bad. That can work if you provide plenty of them. But the problem is, of course, in Alien Isolation that they were quite stingy at times with them. And so as a result there'll be levels where you, you know, get killed by the alien and it punishes you by sending you back a huge way. Get that guy out, come on. Get out of here. No, oh, god damn it. Take these bloody butterflies out. Oi. Taking you out, are we? God, it's laggy out here. Ugh. Whoa, hello. Mr. Multifly, get out of here. Got him. Ooh, that thing got hold of me. Go on. Get out of here. Oh. God, the amount of lag that causes. No, get off me. You bastard. Nope. What am I shooting at there? Get that bolt of light. Oh boy. It appears that we're in a train station kind of area. Oh, what the hell? Hollow Eve. Read this as your life depended on it, because it does. Gather these pearly whites to prevent your premature arrival before the pearly gates. My friends can use the choppers, and you'll improve your weapon's capacity. Okay, is this now opening up the um, weapon? Okay, here we go. So I'm thinking, yeah, I just need to get to this area. So now we can start upgrading some weapons. At present, we have 267 uh, teeth. Uh, for 150, we could upgrade the Vorpal Blade to level 2. Or we could hold out for an upgrade to the Pepper Grinder. I think you do get enough teeth in this game to pretty much upgrade everything to full. Go on then, let's uh, do the Vorpal Blade. Give me 150 teeth to upgrade your Vorpal Blade. Are you sure you'd like to upgrade? Yes. Thank you very much. Lovely. There we go. So the next upgrade there, I think it said was 700, um, 675. Oh my god. Well, there go the train carriages. Hatter always hated mechanical malfunctions. This disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. Veil of Tears. Looking glass at the railway. Yes. Let's get these uh, snail shells. Like so. We need at least 475. Then we can get the uh, level 2 pepper grinder. Let's go up here as well because there's teeth up on top of that mushroom. Aha! Another bottle. Nice. Quick, give it here. Get these. Nice. A John Palace. There we go. 
now, is there anything else around here? Just going to shrink sense for a moment. Down. Doesn't look like there's anything else for me to find in this area, does it? No, okay. Alright, so I think we're going off in this direction where those train carriages fell down. The train carriages, yeah? <laughs> These random pieces of railway track over here. Oh my god, the state of the world! Jesus. Things are really going to shit now, aren't they? So we're going up here. And across. Oh, careful. Oh, camera's trying to make me look at things. But, who? I friggin' heard that. Sounded like that kid again. He slash she, I'm not sure which, was probably down there running into that train tunnel. Probably. I say probably, I have no idea. Okay. Oh, what the? Slithering rune. Just literally takes one uh, slash from the Vorpal Blade to, play to kill those. And they said the Vorpal Blade. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Have it, you bastard. You can't take me by surprise. I know all your tricks. Jesus, the rumbling. The rimble rumbling. Into the train on Oh, God. Right, well. Oh, that is causing serious lag, that is. FPS drops are about five or seven there. Bloody hell. Hot damn, son. Forward we go. It's nice and dark now in this train tunnel. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, this game is so much better with headphones on. Since recall the last time I played, I, you know, didn't have headphones. But now, you know, you get the headphones, you get all the little sound effects and everything. Okay, checkpoint there. Is there something behind me? No, there isn't. There's a big area up in front of me, though. But I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Because I think I've been recording for about 20 minutes or so there, which is, you know, the rough minimum. I know I said in previous episodes that, you know, there may be videos on occasion where I go up to 30 or even 40 minutes. But, uh, you know, I'll just clarify that that's not going to be the norm, I don't think. I'll still try and roughly aim for at least sort of 20 minute to 25 minute videos. So yes, thank you everybody for joining me for episode 3 of Alice Madness Returns with me, General Red Strategist. In the next episode, we'll keep going. If I'm not mistaken, we're shortly to get into a new area. I think the Hatter's Domain. Just trying to cast my mind back to the last time I played. I think that's the case. So yes, things are going to get interesting fairly soon. We're going to go into, like I say, a very interesting area. All the different worlds you go to in Alice have very unique kind of themes going on to them. So yes, you'll see, of course, in, you know, in uh, the next episode. So yes, if you're not doing this already, you'll follow, uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those pages are in the video description, as always. And in the meantime, this is General Red, signing off. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, got him. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Get off the edge. Oh, no, no, go. Get out of here, get out of here, get out, 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 Oh lord! No, 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 no! Holy crap! This area is horrible. Oh, oh my god! I've been shot to fucking pieces! Ah! Oh my! What the fuck? Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Whoa! Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Fucking hell! Bloody hell! That did like a million damage. This better not be a. Whoa! Shit! No! Oh my fucking god! How many- What?